is up JV Games here and welcome to Boom Beach which is a new game made by Supercell. This is probably what most of my content is going to um, revolve around now or Clash of Clans. But this is a really neat game and I would like to show you it. It is not available in the App Store yet. I have no idea when it's going to be released. But it's only available in the Canadian App Store, which I got it from. Today I'm just going to be um, showing some of the buildings they put in. So, first we got our residence. Produces gold. First I should go over what everything does. Gold, you just do stuff with, like you explore more of the map or make troops with. Wood, you build all your buildings in. And if you conquer enough places, maybe at the end of the video they'll be here, but there's these little boats. You attack by using these landing crafts in this gunboat, but we'll get into that in another video. And then there's stone and iron that you can obtain, but we don't, I can't get that because I'm not high enough level. So residence, it produces gold. Gold storage, everyone knows what that is. You got your wood storage, your stone storage, your quarry, which produces the stone, iron storage, iron mine. And then this is the interesting thing, the vault. I have one right here. It's right here. Whatever I have under this limit goes into here. Um, and it protects 30% of my other resources. So basically, anything in here when a battle happens will not be touched. And it fills that before it fills like the wood storage, like there's zero in there. So then, let's get into the defensive buildings. We have Sniper Tower, basically an Archer Tower from Clash of Clans. Mine, a bomb from Clash of Clans. Motor. Motor from Classic Clans. Really good. Machine gun. Now this is an interesting one. I want to say it's kind of like a wizard tower because it's a fast paced um, shooter and it shoots at um, people. And it has a fair range but it can hit multiple enemies. The cannon. I haven't seen it in use, but I'm pretty sure it's kind of like, it's basically a cannon, but with more, um, more, like, damage per second than in Clash of Clans. Flamethrower, it just destroys everything that c comes near it at close range. Probably comparable to, like, uh, um, uh, Inferno Tower, and then there's the Boom Cannon. This doesn't compare to anything in Clash of Clans. It is just a giant artillery that can like one shot stuff. And then we got Rocket um, Launcher, and it's just an artillery unit like the motor, and it fires um, very large. And then we've got um, all of these. I don't know what they can all do, but I've seen them in action because there's not that much people. And I'm like only, let's see, what's my rank? The top people are only at like 144 medals. I'm 500th in the world. And I was 1,500 um, last night, so it's changing rapidly. Landing craft, you transport your troops on them. This is basically a, not a spell factory, it's basically a laboratory, you can upgrade people. Sculptor, you can build these powerful statues. Um, some of them, I think, um, will, um, like, when um, foes get near them, they're kind of like the heroes, like the um, barbarian king, and they'll leap out and um, start um, doing damage, and then some of them like make your defenses in a certain area do like 30% 30 30 more damage. Scope, no, that's why I just went over. And radar, I have a radar right here. Basically, this world map that you have, you can just explore more of it. Now, other than that, there's not that much to this game. 
you have these little points that this is basically all campaign but as you can see here there's invasions and stuff and your ba base can be attacked by other players here's another player here's another player but I'm not going to attack them because they're ahead of me but there's these NPC ones um, basically the campaign from Clash of Clans and you destroy them and then once you destroy them you get 40 gold per hour and then this one was another one but instead of getting gold per hour I got um, wood per hour and if I go here as you can see I own this island and I actually can interact with it so on my sawmill machine gun machine gun and a motor and I can't change any of this but I can move this around to, so I can um, keep the space and then I think one of the ridiculous things is it costs so much to expand these regions that's all there's gonna be time for today thanks for watching don't forget to rate comment and subscribe next time we'll be showing the attacking feature